embodying your higher self is really what it's all about. When we're here and we're creating space and we're healing all of the density within the body, the goal is to be able to create space and ground more of your higher self and then embody that energy, which literally means to become it. So you go from an old version of you to a new you that is a walking, living, breathing embodiment of your higher self that is a higher frequency version of you. But there are misconceptions about what that looks like. What does that process look like? And how do we actually embody our higher self? And in this video, I'm going to demystify all of those questions that you may have about how do I go about embodying my higher self? Now, when you start on this spiritual path, maybe you go through a spontaneous awakening like I did, or maybe you gradually start to realize that you are more than this physical being living in this reality. You start to think about how can I become a higher frequency version of myself? How can I connect with that energy and and rise and start to to live from the perspective of love, compassion, and joy, gratitude, and abundance. Now, that is literally the embodiment of your higher self. But to get there, something interesting really happens. Your higher self starts to come into your body. You start to ground and anchor it into the body. And it shows you everything that is in the way, meaning the density, the traumas, the lower vibrational energy that is residing in your body actually serves as a block to block your higher self from moving through you and integrating into your physical vessel. So how do we know this? Well, when you go through an awakening, you start to realize that um, you're more susceptible or more sensitive to the lower frequency energy. It, the density, it rises up into your experience. Maybe you're going to start to feel more anxious. Maybe you're going to start to feel some stress. Maybe some old unprocessed emotions, traumas from your past are going to resurface. And this happens because your higher self is directing that energy forward into your experience so that you can finally process it. These dense emotional states represent aspects of us that were not seen sometime in the past. Meaning we had a trauma. We were traumatized. We were in a situation where we created some sort of a limiting belief about ourselves and we never fully allowed that aspect to be seen, to be felt, to be loved. Well, if those are hiding within you, they are controlling your life on a subconscious level. Decisions are being made day to day about how you're going to live your life based on these traumas and these limiting beliefs. So your higher self's energy starts to move through you and it starts to reflect that energy out into situations. It actually manifests situations so that you can see it and that you can process it. Now, it's very easy to get lost in those emotions because our body physically is just so conditioned to becoming a stressed fight or flight state, an anxious state, when these dense energies rise up to be processed, right? So you have to have awareness about you. You need to be aware and conscious when this happens so that you don't lose yourself in these old unprocessed emotions. Remember, we want to allow these emotions to come up to be seen. We want to fully embrace them and feel them, but from the perspective of love and compassion, from the perspective of your higher self, not the wounded self. That is the embodiment of your higher self starting to navigate life, navigate your experiences from that high frequency perspective, the multidimensional you, the being that is unconditional love. Now, again, it's easy to slip back into those patterns. So we meditate, we ground, we become present so that we can create space to be able to remember when these old traumatized aspects, say you get triggered and anxiety comes forward or stress or fear comes forward, you have the presence of mind to know that that is an energy that was unresolved that is coming up now to be seen and to be felt. Think of them as like old aspects of you rising up to be seen. We could easily look at it and judge it as being a bad experience or a bad emotion, but it simply represents an old aspect of you that was traumatized that wants to be seen. So you remember that you are a being of light, a being of love. Feel into that, hold that space, and allow 
yourself to feel the dense energy as it rises up. It's like bringing these fragmented soul aspects back into the whole, back into the light. And as you start to do that, you are actually embodying your higher self. You are creating space within your body because you are freeing up space, freeing up energy density that was locked away in your lower chakras. It is now rising in frequency and it is matching the multidimensional you, the higher frequency energy. So you're literally creating physical space that is more space for your divine light to land, to ground, and to integrate into your physical vessel. Again, that process involves allowing the old that's been taking up space in your body where your higher self could not be integrated. These areas lacked consciousness. So they come up into your field. They come up into your awareness, into your experience so that they can finally be processed. When that happens, you reclaim the space within your body and now your higher self can move in there and can be integrated. It's an interesting, amazing, dynamic process, but it involves going into that darkness, just allowing yourself to be present with it when it comes up. We don't want to become it, but we want to sit and hold a loving space for it so that it can be seen and it can be felt. And when you do that, you will literally feel that tension, that anxiety melt away right before your eyes. So if you're finding yourself in a dark night of the soul, and if you haven't watched this video on Dark Night of the Soul, I'm going to put it here in a link in the description for you. Make sure you watch that. That is a very powerful time for healing. I know when we hear Dark Night of the Soul, we want to run from it. We want to avoid it. We think it's a period of suffering. Well, it's an intense, amazing period of healing. If you can hold that space and allow what your higher self is directing in terms of density that has been stuck in your body, past traumas and such, to rise up to be seen, to be felt, to be brought back into the whole, it can be a game changer on your journey. You will level up to amazing new frequencies and start to unveil or reveal and manifest higher frequency realities right in your experience. So when you find yourself in anxiety, when you find your body tense, constricted, in fight or flight, remind yourself that it is your higher self wanting to ground and be embodied into your physical vessel and showing you what is in the way. Do you have the strength? Do you have the courage? Do you have the compassion and the love to hold that space and allow yourself to fully feel that density as it rises up? That density is what's been holding you back keeping you small, keeping you manifesting the same day over and over and over again from a limited perspective, creating a very limited life and a limited experience. Follow the guidance by your higher self so that energy can be integrated, embodied into your physical vessel by creating the space so that you can vibrate into higher frequency bandwidths, higher frequency dimensional fields, higher frequency realities, and allow them to manifest in your experience. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.